And meanwhile, the tourism sector in Phuket discussed a promotion campaign to attract more tourists back to the region. The president of Thai Hotels Association, Southern Chapter, Meiti Pranata Tragun, the Tourist Authority of Thailand local Phuket office, and the Phuket Tourist Association members held a conference at Metropole Hotel discussing about a campaign to gain back tourist attention and their interest towards Phuket in the wake of the global recession and recent Thai airport blockages. Local hoteliers, tour agents, golf courses, and related businesses presented their ideas and strategies towards the new recovery measures. New tour packages and promotions were introduced. Special packages and promotions included changes in hotels' super deal prices being put on TAT's website, meaning that all associated hotels should reduce their rates down by 25 to 50 percent and recreate more interesting and unique tour programs, including more old town cultural attractions. Some of the hotel participants felt that Thai and independent tourists are now being charged more than foreign tourists on special packages, and this is causing more problems. They will focus on domestic travelers attracting them by offering up to 50% discounts and continue advertising, according to Setapan Bhutani, the Director of Tourism Authority of Thailand. And officials went out to inspect gift baskets in Phuket to make sure that consumers are treated fairly and that the gift baskets are good quality. The Phuket Provincial Chief of Commercial Affairs, Sampong Onkrasir, led his officials to visit department stores and retail shops to check on goods and gift baskets made available for sale. They checked on product quality, prices, and dates of expiry. This follows the head office's policy to make sure that consumers are not exploited during the festive season like New Year. Sumpon said he found that this year's gift baskets comprise better quality products and details, prices and dates of expiry are clearly displayed. He also revealed that no cases of customer exploitation were reported so far this year. The official also seeks cooperation from shops not to add alcoholic drinks in their gift baskets so they can contribute to efforts to reduce risks of accident rates on the island. And now going further to Krevi, where a fake bank note was found there, while Kuntai Bank reassured people that the bank machines are accurate. A fake 500 baht bank note case was reported in Krevi after Ms. Rati Munna paid the money to Tesco Lotus and the cashier spotted a fake bank note. The cashier refused her note, which Rati said she got from an ATM belonging to Kung Thai Bank or Siam Commercial Bank. She insisted that she got the cash from an ATM, as before she went to the machine, she had only 60 baht. Police seized the fake 500 bank note for inspection. On the other hand, the manager of the Kung Thai Bank in Phuket, Pirachat Bunya, insisted that there are no fake bank notes slipping into the Kung Thai Bank system. He stated that all banknotes, especially 100 banknotes, are carefully and thoroughly scanned by accurate machines which can separate the fake ones. And Phuket police carry out strict crackdowns against narcotic drugs while a foreigner was arrested for drug possession. The Phuket Provincial Police Commander Apira Kong Tong reported results of a police crackdown against crime and narcotic drugs during December 21st through the 24th, saying that 14 people were arrested and were charged with amphetamines, unlicensed armed possession, and underground lottery operation. The police chief also reported a case in which police arrested a 23-year-old foreigner from Britain, Stephen Peter Hitwell, for cocaine possession and dealing. The man denied all the charges. And finally, in local news, and the most significant of the day, the tsunami fourth year anniversary memorials will be held today, while the Prime Minister, opposite Vedadiva, sent messages to people. Many locations are prepared for residents and visitors of the Andaman region to attend religious ceremonies or memorial services in respect of people who perished in the tsunami in 2004. The Thai government has designated Patong Beach as the main location for the memorial services, while Panga and Krebi also arrange services and religious ceremonies. In Krebi, the commemorative event will be held at Pipi Island, while locations in Panga include a site 
where the Tor 813 police patrol boat is situated after it was washed ashore. Another location will be at the Tsunami Memorial site at the fishing village of Ban Nam Ken and the Bang Marawan Cemetery. Prime Minister Apisit Vejajiva sent messages urging people to create a safety culture in their daily lives so that people are aware of any future disasters and reduce risks. The Foreign Minister Kasit Piranya is to attend a lighter protect event in the evening. All are invited to attend the ceremony in which candles will be prepared for participants as the Pritet Provincial Administration Organization CEO, Pai Boon Upatisan, um, explain more to us. People don't know at all about tsunami. Now we learn a lot and uh, we, if we see anything happen, people are very aware, very concerned. I think we, we, we prepare both hospital, both both organization, local organization. We, we prepare for it. I think we 90 percent ready. If it happens, we think we, we can have a lot. You were obviously you were senator at the time yeah. four years ago, yeah. and then you became CEO of the Pukit mm -hmm. Provincial Administration mm -hmm. uh, earlier this year, wasn't yes. it? Um, on your side, on Pukit Provincial Administration, um, how are you remembering the tsunami this year, and, and uh, what's your memory? Uh, on on the 26th, we have a uh, light up Phuket. We have uh, on the six, six p uh, o'clock in the evening, we, we have ceremony in uh, on Patong Beach. We ask uh, uh, local uh, organization at Patong Municipal and also the hotel near Patong to ask the tourists to come together to uh, remember about the victims. And we have to light the candle for all the victims uh, pass away. And Will that be the thousands again on the beach? Yeah, sure. So already, already placed, or the, will people be expected to bring their own? No, we, we, we have enough. Uh, our uh, Phuket position, we, we prepare on the candle. And we ask uh, uh, Foreign Minister Kun Kasit Kilon we come to Phuket. Also, when you guys have one, uh, member of parliament will come to this ceremony. Also, the governor of Phuket, Dr. Pichai Lung Chan, will come to the uh, ceremony also. And we the diplomats, have you yep. uh, The permits and uh, uh, local agency, everything, every one will come to, to the ceremony on 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock until 9 o'clock. Will you encourage or let people also light these lanterns, the floating lanterns that go up yeah. in the air, which yeah. are obviously very beautiful, but yeah. is that part of the official ceremony? We, we prepare for it. We prepare for it. But mostly we, we use candles. Mostly. And do people make donations to, for these candles or lanterns? No, we, we, uh, we set up for free. Everybody, everybody can join. And we invite everybody to come to the ceremony. And the ceremony will be based around Loma or Dolphin Park? Yes, in Patong Beach. Yeah. The north part of the beach. Yeah, yeah. So the candles will be all the way along the beach? Uh, uh, somewhere around, around uh, Loma uh, area, Loma restaurant area. Mm -hmm. So that's an